Chapter 12 Algebraic Expressions Part 2 Good morning children In this module let us study addition and subtraction of algebraic expressions and what is the value of an expression Addition and subtraction of algebraic expressions Consider the following example Saritha has some marbles Amina has 10 more. Appu says that he has 3 more marbles than the number of marbles Saritha and Amina together have. How do you get the number of marbles that Appu has? If you want to find out the number of marbles that Appu has, we need to find out how many marbles does this Saritha and Amina has. Since it is not given how many marbles Saritha has, we shall take it to be X. We use letters X, Y, L, M, etc. to denote a variable. Amina has thus X plus 10 marbles. How many marbles Appu has? We can take the sum of X, X plus 10 and 3. Here, we need to add two expressions together. Another one example. We are having three pencils and five books. How many objects are there on the table? We cannot combine these pencils and books together. We can write it as three pencils plus five books. If you are having Two more pencils and two more books on the table. How many objects are there on the table? Here, two more pencils we can add to three pencils. Therefore, altogether three plus two, five pencils. And five books plus two books. Therefore, it becomes seven books. Same objects can be added together. Therefore, we can write it as now we are having... 5 pencils and 7 books are on the table. Thus, the same manner we can add two algebraic expressions also. If you are having like terms, we can combine together. Same like identical objects, like terms also can be combined together. Adding and subtracting like terms. The simplest expression are monomials. They consist of only one term. To begin with, we shall learn how to add or subtract like terms. Let us add 3x and 4x. We know x is a number and so also are 3x and 4x. Now 3x plus 4x is equal to 3 plus 4, that is 7x. Let us next add 8xy, 4xy and 2xy. These three are like terms, therefore you can combine together. Since it's all algebraic factors are x and y. Therefore, 8xy plus 4xy plus 2xy is equal to 8 plus 4 plus 2, that is 14xy. Let us subtract 4n from 7n. 7n minus 4n is equal to 7 into n minus 4 into n. That is 7 minus 4. That is equal to 3n is the answer. In the same way, subtract 5ab from 11ab. 11ab minus 5ab. That is equal to 11 minus 5. That is equal to 6. 6ab is the answer. Adding and subtracting general algebraic expression. First question, add 3x plus 11 and 7x minus 5. The sum is equal to 3x plus 11 plus 7x minus 5. 3x and 7x are like terms, therefore you can combine and we can write it as 10x. And the constant terms are 11 and negative 5. That while we are adding that 2, you will get positive 6. 
Therefore, the sum of 3x plus 11 plus 7x minus 5 is equal to 10x plus 6. Second question. Add 3x plus 11 plus 8 is it and 7x minus 5. The sum is you have already found out 3x plus 11 plus 7x minus 5 is equal to 10x plus 6. Here one more term to be added that is 8z. Here 8z is an unlike term. Therefore, the single unlike term 8z will remain as it is. Therefore, the sum is 10x plus 6 plus 8z. Third question, subtract a minus b from 3a minus b plus 4. The difference is equal to 3a minus b plus 4 minus of a minus b. Here a minus b to be subtracted from 3a minus b plus 4. Therefore, we need to add the additive inverse of the number to be subtracted. Therefore, we have to add a plus the additive inverse of a minus b that is minus a plus b. Therefore, it becomes 3a minus b plus 4 plus minus a plus b. Therefore, answer is 2a plus 0b plus 4 that is equal to 2a plus 4. Example 4. Collect like terms and simplify the expression. 12m square minus 9m plus 5n minus 4m square minus 7m plus 10. Rearranging the terms by adding, taking all the like terms together. That is 12m square and minus 4m square can be combined together. Next 5m minus 9m and minus 7m can be combined and remaining one constant term 10 is there. Therefore, you will be getting it as 8m square plus negative 11m plus 10. Answer is 8m square minus 11m plus 10 is the answer. Second question, subtract 24ab minus 10b minus 18a from 30ab plus 12b plus 14a. Here we need to subtract an expression from another expression. Subtracting a term is the same as adding its additive inverse. Therefore, we need to take the additive inverse of each term of the second expression. That is 30ab plus 12b plus 14a plus minus 24ab plus 10b plus 18a. Now we can combine all the like terms that is 30ab minus 24ab plus 12b plus 10b plus 14a plus 18a. Therefore, you will be getting the answer as 6ab plus 22b plus 32a. Alternately, we write the expression one below the other with the like term appearing exactly below like terms as given here. This also, the, in this manner also we will get the answer as 6ab plus 22b plus 32a. Example 6. From the sum of 2y square plus 3yz uh, minus y square minus y z minus z square and y z plus 2 z square subtract the sum 3 y square minus z square and minus y square plus y z plus z square. First three expressions are to be added. Then from that sum we need to subtract the sum of the second sum to be subtracted. For that, first of all, we need to add the three expressions together. Therefore, you will be getting it as 2y square plus 3yz plus minus y square minus yz 
minus z square plus y z plus 2 z square becomes y square plus 2 3 y z plus z square. Second sum is 3 y square minus z square plus minus y square plus y z plus z square. And we will be getting the answer as 2 y square plus y z. Now we subtract the second sum from the first sum. Therefore, you will be getting y square plus 3 y z plus z square minus 2 y square plus y z. By taking the additive inverse and while we are adding, you will be getting the answer as minus y square plus 2 y z plus z square. Finding the value of an expression. We know that the value of an expression depends on the value of the variable forming in that expression. For example, the area of a square is L square, where L is the length of the side of a square. If L is equal to 5 cm, area is 5 square cm square, that is 25 cm square. If the side is 10 cm, area is 10 square cm square. That is, 10 square is 100 cm square and so on. Let us find the value of the following expression for x is equal to 2. First question, x plus 4. Putting x is equal to 2 in x plus 4, we get 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. The fourth question also we can do 100 minus 10 x cube. Put the value of x as 2 that is 100 minus 10 into 2 cube. You know that 2 cube is 8. Therefore 100 minus 10 into 8 that is 100 minus 80 that is equal to 20. And you can try the remaining question yourself. I hope all of you understood addition and subtraction of algebraic expression and value of an algebraic expression. Thank you.